Hello, welcome to Retro Pickups for the Week. It's me, your friend from school. So I, I usually get my stuff from Goodwill or eBay, but this time I went to the pawn shop. And I've been seeing this game at the pawn shop. I've been seeing it for a few months and I've been thinking, man, I should get this game $30. For me, it's a lot of money to spend on an old retro game for the Sega Genesis. But this is a very unique game. This is a complete inbox copy of a one-of-a-kind type of Sega Genesis game. This is Virtual or Virtua, Virtua Racing. Now what makes this game unique is this is the only Sega Genesis game that will not run in my Sega Genesis flash cart because it uses a special chip. It's the only game in the entire library that uses a companion chip. There's a CPU in the cartridge that uh, renders 3D graphics. It's Sega's answer to the Super FX chip on the Super Nintendo. So because of that, it's actually kind of our, a gargantuan cartridge. Look at this. It's so big, it's so big. It's bigger than a normal game because of all the power that's packed inside. This is the SVP chip. It's actually more powerful than the original Super FX chip. It can do more polygons at a higher frame rate. So let's pop it in and try it out. All right, we get 3D, 3D graphics. We get to see Genesis, the Sega Genesis 3D graphics. This is a cool, this is a really cool racing game. Um, it's very, actually very basic, but for the time, very good. So there's only three tracks, and I think there's only two cars. So we'll play one, we'll play each track. So there are uh, four different views. I've got the six button controller, and you can use the extra buttons to change your view. And it's actually really cool. We got this standard view, we got a really bird's eye view. Uh, we got kind of a close in. No, this is a medium view. And then best of all, it's got a first person view with the steering wheel and everything. It's pretty cool. I like to play with the standard view, which is this one. Let's see, I got, it's just got a gas and a brake. There's no drifting. No weapons, no boost button. It's very basic. I guess the whole the whole gimmick was that it was 3D. You didn't see anything like this on the Genesis. There is a game called Hard Driving on the Genesis that's also 3D like this, but it's so slow and so bad. There's no music though. The only time you get music is when you you get a checkpoint. There's a little riff at each checkpoint. But otherwise, there's no music in the game. It's so weird. Okay, let's try track number two. This is the medium track. At least the track definitely looks different than the other track, the beginner track. The beginner track has the Ferris wheel. It looks more uh, urban. This is like driving along the coast with the palm trees and the sand. All right, next we're doing the expert track. Looks like it's in a desert. Well, it's pretty green compared to what the map showed. I suppose they don't want you to be good at this game on your first try, right? It's only got three tracks. They don't want you beating this game in a weekend rental. Hey, I got not last. All right, that's pretty good. All right, so that is Virtua Racing for the Sega Genesis. What do you guys think? Does it blow Star Fox out of the water? Uh, no, not quite. Maybe graphically it does because it has does have more polygons. Like the whole world is polygons. It's It looks good for a 16-bit, you know, Sega Genesis game and probably looks better than Star Fox. But Star Fox is, there's more game to Star Fox. There's a lot more game to it. But this is good. That's it. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more content. And I am streaming on YouTube now. So, uh... Look out for my streams, subscribe to my channel, check that out, and uh, thanks!